a alleluia 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 e alleluia 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 good morning happy saturday october 29 2022 this is love word taking you open heaven a guide to a close fellowship with god we are here today to talk about no love without discipline no love without discipline our memory fast and we find the book of proverb 13 verse 24 i read he that spared the rod he took his son for he that loved him chastened him the times he that spared his rod he took his son for he that loved him chastened him the time if you want God to love you then he will discipline you the more he loves you the more he will discipline you God love children who bear fruit when so very specially so he say that any tree that bear fruit he will prune John 15 verse 2 says every branch in me that beareth no fruit he taken away and every branch that beareth fruit he purge it that he may bring forth more fruit the purpose of pruning and discipline is to make you bear more fruit and become even greater in the realm of the spirit if god discipline you whenever you do something wrong you should rejoice because it mean that you are special to him and he will not leave you to be destroyed However, if you are doing something wrong and God is silent about your wrong doing, you should run to him and cry for mercy. Because it most likely mean that he has left you for destruction. This often happen when he has won a person severely but the person didn't listen. We seen an example of this in Hosea 4:17. We say Ephraim is joined to idol let him be alone Romans 1 verse 28 also says and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient If you stole but we anti cash fornicated but everything seems to be going on as normal run to go for mercy because he has probably left you in the hand of the devil don't continue in your sin because there was no repercussion or chastisement cry to him for mercy tell him you are sorry and ready to forsake that sin He saw what you did and the fact that he is acting as if he didn't see it you send you on your new begin to start begging for mercy if you don't want to be destroyed in conclusion we need god mercy in our life to live our daily life we need to run back to God for forgiveness so we can live a blissful life. Ready? Our key point for today. If you sin and God is silent, 
you are already losing your place as his beloved child. Cry to him for mercy. If you sin and God is silent, you are already losing your place as his beloved cry to him for mercy. I want us to read the book of Proverbs 3, verse 11 to 12. And our Bible in one year, Luke 7, verse 8. Our aim is in three, deeper, deeper in the love of Jesus. Deeper, deeper in the love of Jesus. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you. We appreciate you more. We bless your name for giving us the opportunity to be here today, to be in the land of living. Father, bless us, protect us, be our shepherd. Don't let us be ashamed. Everything we lay our hands upon, let it be successful in Jesus' name. We move from grace to grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, what God cannot do does not exist. This is love war. Taking you open heaven, a guide to a close fellowship with God. Till we meet tomorrow, have a nice day. Have a nice weekend. And bye for now. Hallelujah.